everybody. Welcome back to Vikings Connected. That's Chris Hockey. My name's Aaron Newberg, and it is time for another edition of the Weatherly Report. That's right. This week, our friends at Ecolab show Stephen Weatherly how to be a scientist. Ooh. Welcome back to the Weather Report. On this week's episode, I go to Ecolab to see if I can be a scientist. Let's see how it goes. Ecolab, headquartered in St. Paul, Minnesota, is an American global provider of water, hygiene, and energy technologies and services to the food, energy, healthcare, industrial, and hospitality markets. I'm reading this directly from Wikipedia. Before I began my journey to science stardom, I had to familiarize myself with the facility and the products that they make. Uh, what are your, what are your, what's your favorite insect? None of them. Which, <laughs> which is your least favorite? The product? spider. Well, let's talk about the spider the insect. Is in. Okay, so well, what, what's in there? In here, you see nothing in here. But if uh, we go, there's something in there. See, oh, yeah, there see, see. That's what I'm talking about right there. Why? Can we put the lid back on these? Don't, Carrie. I'll take care. All right, just making sure. We got some volunteers. And I'd like to have you try your luck at this. So this product is called Finito. It's a ready to use. Mm -hmm. And just simply apply it onto the bug and it kills it right on the spot. So the volunteer is here. Bam, give him a shot, give him good. I know what it is. Oh man, he did not like that. <laughs> oh! Go with Terry, what do we do with these big ones? Man, what? <laughs> All right, see, now I was out here trying to have fun, and then now you did that, and now, like, no, you gotta hold it. No, don't, don't do that. I just feel like you don't understand what I do for a living, and, like, I just said no, so. It's got really awkward now. They thought I was kidding. I was not. This is my angry face. My phobias are in this order. Milk server. Yep. Who said milk? And bugs. So yeah, the, the nervous system that breaks down their insides. I'm staying so, so they're, strong. They're right freaking now. out, right? Wow! Hi, how are you? You want to hold a cockroach? No. You sure? <laughs> yeah. You positive? Very positive. All right, cool. You can keep going. I would never make you do it after you said no twice. You want to hold a cockroach? <laughs> you sure? What about you? You interested? <laughs> Not at all. All right, then y'all have a blessed day. With the bugs behind me, it was time to get down to the real science. Normally, smocks look quite nerdy. On me, however. It looks insanely cool. My task today was to create a solution that will remove harmful bacteria from everyday produce items. I have all of our other raw materials that are gonna go into it. You are gonna measure them out. I did not pre-measure anything but our dyes. Um, so you're gonna measure everything, I'm gonna add it to the beakers, I have everything you need set up here, and at the end of it, you will have made one of our coolest products. Cool. So when we formulate, we formulate by weight percent instead of liquid percent, because it's easier to measure everything out. Man, what? Get that. Get, get that right there. Get that right there. How much do we need? How much do we get? Can I get more witnesses to how awesome I am, please? <laughs> I am not humble at all. I do this, OK? <laughs> just so you aware. OK, so we're all done with this. So now you can go ahead and don't <clears throat> just add it slowly. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Patience is not uh, Never. Not early bird, virtue. that doesn't make sense because a lot of them like, early bird gets the worm, but patience, like, patience is a virtue. It was like, sleep in, wake up late. Everything has a contradictory saying if you look back far enough. Okay. So sometimes if this had been a basic solution and then we added the acid and you dumped it in like that, you'd have an exotherm and it would explode all over. So for us, patience is a virtue. Oh, well, never mind then. All right. I would have warned you if that was going to be the case today. And go. <laughs> I was amazed at the level of detail and precision needed to make my solution. It was imperative that I keep this laser focus going. Oh, you didn't tear before. That's huh. okay. We knew what we was there. it before? Got it. Got it. Put a, no, it's okay. Just put a little bit more in there. It's fine. We're not going to use this for... Oh, oh, okay. We'll just put it in there. My mind's not going to make it. Keep going. <laughs> just you just kill my morale. Keep going a little bit more. For the safety of humanity, it was probably a good thing my product wasn't going to make it to market. With my solution now complete, it was time to put it to the test. 
So we add a little bit of a dye, right? It helps us to be able to see it. So I think that's important to show because a customer needs to know what they're putting their, their produce into. So then if why it, was that one a shade of like green and this one is clear? Because you have mixed it with water. So okay. down here is your shade of green. Oh, okay, yeah. You put it in here and I'll go over here. So go ahead and dip it. We don't even have to do it for quite that long. We can just do it for a few seconds here. Now go ahead and take yours out and I'm gonna put them next to each other. Oh. So now, which in the event you are going to eat broccoli, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> which broccoli would you prefer to eat? Yours, your broccoli. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>